Welcome to Psalm Bites, your daily devotional where we will read and pray through the entire book of Psalms in bite-sized portions. Let's begin with two short prayers inspired by Psalm 119.18 in James 1.22. God, open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your word, and help me to be not just a hearer of the word, but a doer. Today we will be reading Psalm 26 in the New King James Version. A Psalm of David. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have also trusted in the Lord. I shall not slip. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my mind and my heart. For your loving kindness is before my eyes, and I have walked in your truth. I have not sat with idolatrous mortals, nor will I go in with hypocrites. I have hated the assembly of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, so I will go about your altar, O Lord, that I may proclaim with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all your wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Do not gather my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, in whose hands is a sinister scheme and whose right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be merciful to me. My foot stands in an even place. In the congregation I will bless the Lord. I'm going to highlight verses 8 and 11 through 12. Lord, I have loved the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be merciful to me. My foot stands in an even place. In the congregation I will bless the Lord. Let's pray. God, we consider Hebrews 12, 14, where it says, Pursue peace with all people and holiness, without which no one will see the Lord. Jesus, we also remember your promise that blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. May we love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells so much that we would pursue holiness and we would pursue purity of heart, removing ourselves from every place of compromise in pursuit of the joy and beauty of your presence. We thank you, Jesus, that because of your sacrifice, because of your blood shed for us, we can wash our hands in innocence by coming to you for forgiveness for our sins. Let us honor your sacrifice by walking in integrity and inspiring others to do so. And thank you that as we do this, as we dwell in your house all the days of our lives and behold your beauty, our feet stand in an even place, on a firm foundation of your truth and your grace. We love you, Lord, and we bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.